Okay, this one here is a rose tree. See the long tree trunk or stem? And then finally it goes up to the bush itself. This particular one here, I planted it eh, three months ago. And it was nothing but about six or seven little sticks. Now it's so bushy and it's still growing. This is just the beginning. Now here on the side, try to get a picture of one. There's a bud that's growing already. Another one there. Some more on the top. Right where the pencil's pointing. Another one. It's an Ingrid Bergman rose bush right here. Ingrid Bergman. It's a nice red rose. It's going to be real strong. I like this particular uh, rose because it uh, gives it a good crimson color. But rose trees, they're very prized by rose collectors or rose growers because they're, they're not natural. But they're very, they look very nice in every rose garden. And they look nice anywhere. This particular one I planted in a pot so I could move it around if I have to. In the winter, I could bring it indoors or whatever, or take it with me to another house or whatever. It's a good rose bush. That one over here is a Mr. Lincoln, also a red rose bush. But this Mr. Lincoln has a high center, but it's uh, susceptible to mildew, which it could be easily fixed. But uh, it's just uh, one of the trees that it has. But I like this one, Mr. Lincoln. It's a very classic high center red rose. They're both red roses, but one has a different color than the other. I like them both though, especially the Mr. Lincoln.